Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I do my makeup in the winter and how I make sure my dry skin doesn't look dry when I wear makeup. I have certain products I use and certain things I do to avoid this, so, so I'm going to show you this in this video. I'm just going to get right into it. The first step and the most important step, especially in the winter, is to prep your skin because you want your skin to have a nice moisturised base. So the two products I'm going to use today are these two. This is the Magic Serum by Charlotte Tilbury which is like a classic when it comes to just a flawless base and then more recently I've started using this Embryolis I don't know how to pronounce the brand <laughs> this um, makeup primer slash moisturizer cream that I've seen so many makeup artists use on my skin when I have shoots and stuff and I was like why does everyone use this so I started using it and it is so so good so first step I'm gonna take the serum first I've already applied a little bit but um, I like to apply quite a bit of this because it just looks really, really beautiful under a foundation. Then I take this moisturiser, um, which acts as a moisturiser, makeup primer, a whole bunch of different stuff. I think you can even take your makeup off with this, which I haven't done, but multifunction. So I'm going to use it as a makeup primer today. It is like a really nice, kind of watery, but still moisturising cream. Um... And with my skin, I have quite eczema prone skin, but also acne, you can kind of see it, which is like the weirdest combination, but I need to make it work when it comes to products. So I need something that doesn't irritate both. And this is like a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous base. I can't explain to you how soft my skin feels right now. Everything just feels ready. And that's what I like to feel in the winter. I like to feel like I've got a good, grip under my foundation okay in the winter i like to keep my foundation light as well but for different reasons than the summer the summer's more for the sweat now the winter is because if i apply heavy products on my skin and my skin is dry then it will just not look cute so i like to go for a very nice liquid formula foundation as my base and one that i've really been loving is the shiseido synchro skin self refreshing tinted moisturizer in the shade 335 this is really really nice it's honestly a really nice blend between foundation and tinted moisturizer it's still very very light very sheer and it doesn't feel heavy on my skin but it just evens out my complexion which is what i want sometimes with my spots um the foundation sometimes can stick but with this one it doesn't stick and i get quite dry around my eyes as well and this doesn't dry around my eyes, which is why I absolutely love it. Amazing, that's all blended out. Now concealer. Concealer it depends on how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I do two concealers, sometimes I do one. So now I'm gonna show you the two concealer way because for the sake of the video, and I am actually going to meet someone, so I want to look the best. <laughs> um, so the first one I take is the Lancome Idol Ultra Wear Concealer in the shade. This shade is just much more peachy than my undertone and it's like a good concealer to cancel out the darkness I get, especially on the inside of my eye that I don't like. So that's why I use two and then the other one's a much brighter shade. Um, but this is so creamy, it's such a nice, a lovely, lovely consistency and I've fallen in love with it. I'm going to get the shade that's actually my skin tone so I can wear it normally but... That's why I use this one first. So I'm just going to apply this on the inside of my eye and like a little bit under as well. You can kind of see how peachy and orange that is compared to my natural shade, but there's a reason for that. Then I just blend it out, just patting it into place and concentrating where I need the product to be. And then I tilt my head, just a little trick. I tilt my head towards the mirror so I can actually see the side whereas if I look straight then I can't see that little darkness shadow that we usually forget and this is something I've just recently started doing that's really made a difference in my makeup so that's one concealer down I kind of look um orange around my eye but that's all going to get brightened up now anyway but you can see how that just like cancelled out the darkness and then my second all-time favorite concealer is the NARS Radiant Creamy. I've used this for years. It will always be in my top five concealers. I'm going to use the shade Cafe Con Leche today instead of Custard because I want a brighter um, eye in the corner 
area bit. <laughs> I'm just using the smallest amount. I've kind of messed up the placement, but I just focus that in on the center or inner corner of my eyes and try not to blend it out. I usually do, but I try not to. <laughs> I look kind of crazy right now because there's nothing else on my face, but that is my concealer done. I am going to set it a little bit with powder, but all of these products are very moisturizing and hydrating, so it all feels very nice and comfortable on my skin. Okay, so the translucent powder I'm gonna use is the Laura Mercier in the shade Honey, and I'm gonna lightly, very, very lightly set that under my eye. I'm not gonna bake, I don't like baking, especially in the winter, so I'm just gonna apply a small amount because my eyes do tend to crease, so I like to just take a brush and just do a bit of this, I'll show you. <laughs> I'm looking up so that I can get into the creases and just set this all correctly so it looks flawless all day. And the setting powder is like really lovely. I usually use the Bare Minerals but I have been using Laura Mercier the most recently. Like I haven't even grabbed my Bare Minerals. So this is definitely my favourite. I usually use the normal shade but Honey has really been... Really been doing it for me recently. Just gonna do my brows quickly, nothing crazy, just the Benefit Pencil and a clear mascara brow gel thing. Nothing crazy, just gonna do this very quickly. For bronzer, I stay away from powders when it comes to blush, bronzer, anything really apart from the setting powder. So I'm gonna use a cream. I don't really do liquids either. I think creams are the best when it comes to winter. So I'm gonna take the Chanel bronzing cream. This bronzing cream looks amazing in the summer. So in the winter, it just gives you that summer glow that you need when the sun is not shining, so that's why I usually just go for it, and I usually pack a lot on as well. I usually just place it and then blend it out afterwards. I think as well they've come out with another shade recently, so if this one is a bit too light for you, because I know that it is for a lot of people, then I think they have a new one that is slightly darker or darker in general, <laughs> not slightly. It was also another one of those products that a lot of makeup artists use on my skin at photo shoots. So I was like, I need to buy this because this looks amazing and there's a reason why everyone uses it. So I bought it and it's just like gorgeous. And there's actually a lot of products, I think. A little does go a long way with this. Um, so if you're looking for a... Christmas treat yourself. I would definitely say the bronzer is worth it. Same thing for blush. I don't like to use liquids or powders, so I use the Pixi on the glow blushes. I like to mix these two shades, put the dark one under, kind of above my bronzer, and then the lighter one slightly above, and just blend everything together because I like to still look plump and colourful in the winter and it makes you look healthy actually when you're not feeling the healthiest so little hack if you want to look healthy just put a little bit of blush on. I'm just gonna go in straight with the stick and not actually see what I'm doing. Put this one slightly above or even on top of it and just like blend it out after. And you know what, with acne and blush, what I used to do when I was really breaking out is I used to apply a lot of blush so that it looked like the redness was not coming from the acne, it was coming from the blush. Um, so that's a little trick if you are currently breaking out and want to disguise it a bit, just apply a really pigmented blush and just make it look like it's makeup. I always have this bad habit of just abandoning my eyes. I was literally doing my concealer. Why did I not just finish my eyes? Anyway, I'm going to take a brown pencil. This is actually a brow pencil, but I'm going to use it as an eyeliner because I don't know where my brown eyeliner is. So I'm just going to like really roughly just apply it around my eyes and just blend it out. And then for mascara, I'm going to take the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash. This is a very natural mascara. It's not like one for the dramatic eye, um, which I want for this look. I want it to be very subtle. So I'm just gonna apply it on like the outer part of my eye to create like a winged effect. 
For lips, if you're not using like a gloss, then you definitely should be using like a tinted lip balm because lipsticks sometimes just make your lips look even worse. And my lips get very, very dry, so I can't use lipsticks, especially liquids. I really can't use those. So I really, really love these NARS ones, um, the Afterglow Lip Balms. This is a Dolce Vita shade. I also love the Honest Beauty Lip Balms, but this one is the one I'm going for today. They are so hydrating and they have like such a lovely pigment as well um so like if they have these sets or something at nars i would definitely recommend buying these lip balms they are so worth it especially if you suffer from dry lips like me and then if that's not enough then add like something on top of that as well and i've actually really been loving these zara um lip oils i saw this on the website and i was like let me just buy one and it's actually really really lovely so i'm just gonna apply this on top i don't know what shade this is it's just like a pink shade and I'm just gonna apply it on top not that I need it but just to be extra as I said in one of my first videos on YouTube I will always wear a lip oil lip oils are where it's at I've been saying this been using them and if you're not on that trend then get onto it then to finish with a bang you need a good setting spray because you worked so hard on the base you need to make sure everything is set with a good dewy long lasting setting spray and the rare beauty one is my favorite it will always be my favorite it's so good if you like a dewy base or a dewy finish sorry then this is like amazing beautiful gorgeous <laughs> so yeah guys this is the makeup look that i usually do in the winter to make sure my dry skin doesn't peek through my makeup and make me look um dry <laughs> so i hope you guys um learned something from this video and took on some products that you might enjoy i would highly recommend the primer uh, moisturizer this one and also the foundation also the lancome concealer they are absolutely amazing to be honest all the products i use i mean i wouldn't be using them if i didn't like them <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you again in my next video Bye.